So after that terrible Cold War beta that still gives me PTSD, even though it ended a couple weeks ago, I still... Uh, I don't even... I have no plans on buying that game, I'll tell you guys that. Uh, it didn't really leave a good impression on me. So I decided to go back to Modern Warfare of all games, which, you know, I, I've said a lot of negative things about it in my channel, but there was a lot of conversation going on in the COD community about which game is better, Modern Warfare or Cold War? Because a lot of people after the Cold War beta are like, oh my god, Modern Warfare is so much better than this, but other people are like, wait, what are you talking about? At least you can move in Cold War. Cold War is obviously better than Modern Warfare. So after playing that awful beta and then going back to Modern Warfare, yeah, I agree that Cold War is a tiny bit better. And yeah, it's only a little better because Cold War has a lot of problems. And sure, they might be fixed, but uh, then again, we thought Modern Warfare was going to get fixed. We thought they were going to make Dead Silence a perk. We thought they were going to do a lot of things that they never did. So I'm not going to hold my breath about Cold War getting fixed and eventually becoming a good game because it never happened to Modern Warfare. But one thing I think will be a good improvement to Modern Warfare because I told you guys, coming from the Xbox One, which I had the original Xbox One, I didn't have the Xbox One X. It was the original base version of the Xbox One that came out in 2013. That's what I've been using. I was playing Modern Warfare on that console and you know, you guys know the hardware and the technology is really old at this point. We're heading into the next generation of consoles in a couple of weeks. Uh, and that's what I wanna talk about in this video, the potential of Modern Warfare coming to next-gen consoles because I'll tell you guys this yeah I hate the game I don't like it very much but going to PC and playing on ultra settings I got the anti-aliasing turned all the way up I'm running the game at 1440p 100 frames a second at least it, it's a really smooth and solid experience it's a lot better on the PC in my opinion than it is on the old gen consoles but I think if they released Modern Warfare on the PS5 and Xbox Series X the game would be a lot better because yeah i mean i like the game on pc because i feel like the keyboard and mouse controls work really well in modern warfare which is actually really surprising because usually keyboard and mouse just doesn't feel right on call of duty like go back to the older call of duty games it's just it's not right but for modern warfare i guess because of how slow the gameplay is it just works but i will tell you guys one thing besides the keyboard and mouse controls just the better graphics it made the game feel a lot better and it made it it not only did it look better, it just felt better. I mean, especially with the anti-aliasing turns all the way up, no motion blur, you know, all the shit that you have on the consoles, which just automatically makes the game look worse and feel worse. It, it, it was just such a smooth experience, especially going above 60 FPS. So I do think it would be a good thing for Modern Warfare to come to PS5 and Series X. Not for me, because I already have the PC experience, and I'm not gonna, I'm probably not even gonna buy the PS5 and the Series X, to be honest with you guys. And I'm also someone that shits on Modern Warfare, so it's kind of weird for someone like me to make a video saying that it should come to more platforms and it should come to next gen. But, you know, to be fair, Modern Warfare is probably the most successful Call of Duty game that we've had in all of Call of Duty history, and that probably has a lot to do with Warzone and all that, but still, it's a huge success, and a lot of people really love the game. So for those people, I think it would be great. And I would honestly be surprised if they did not remaster Modern Warfare for the PS5 and Series X. Now I know with the Series X, they have this uh, this backwards compatibility thing where the game automatically gets upgraded. Well, not all the games, so we don't know if that's going to happen for Modern Warfare, but it's going to happen for certain games. But we also know that Activision has a special partnership with Sony, so if they're going to do something like that, it's probably going to go more in Sony's direction than Microsoft. But we still, we have no idea if Modern Warfare is going to continue to get supported uh, after the release of Cold War. I assume that Season 6 was the final season, but Warzone is still very much alive. So if nothing else, remaster Warzone. And But if you're going to remaster Warzone, though, you might as well include the full package, the single-player campaign and the online multiplayer. We still don't know exactly how Warzone is going to be integrated into Cold War on next-gen consoles because we don't have the next-gen consoles yet. So is it going to look better than it did on the PS4? Is it going to only be like a slight upgrade? Or is it going to be a full-on next-gen experience for Warzone? We still don't know exactly how that's going to work. But my whole thing is, if they're going to remaster Warzone, which seems to be the indication at least because they seem to indicate that Warzone is their battle royale for Cold War. They're not going to develop a Blackout 2, at least as far as we know.
But then again, Infinity Ward said we're not going to make a Battle Royale. You guys remember, a year ago they said we're not working on Battle Royale. Uh, but then they made a Battle Royale. So we, we could see another Battle Royale from Treyarch. We could see another Blackout. But so far from what we've heard from Activision, Warzone is the Battle Royale for Cold War. But that could change because they have a lot of game modes in Cold War if you played the beta. The Dirty Bomb game mode, it seemed like very similar to Battle Royale and it was running on the Cold War engine, not the Warzone engine, which are two completely different engines. So they do have the framework in place to do a Battle Royale. They might do a Blackout too, but I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not really into Battle Royale, but the point I'm trying to make is that they're very likely to remaster Warzone at the very least. And if they're going to remaster Warzone, you know, for next-gen consoles, they might as well remaster the full multiplayer, single-player, spec ops, and everything in Modern Warfare. Especially if you want to build hype for Modern Warfare 2, which I assume is going to be Infinity Ward's next game, and it will come out in 2021, since Sledgehammer is now out of the picture. I would hope if they do remaster Modern Warfare that they aim for 120 FPS rather than just going at 60, because I'll tell you guys... Coming from console to PC, it was a huge upgrade. It was just so much smoother, like I said earlier in the video. But you guys don't realize, going from 60 to 90 to 120 to 144, it's a big difference. And I think a lot of you guys will appreciate that if Modern Warfare does come to PS5 and Series X and runs at a higher frame rate than 60. And 60 is okay, but going to 90 or 120 would be even better and 1440p 1440p 120 fps would be awesome you know it wouldn't be attainable for the series s obviously because it's less powerful so they could do 1440 60 and then give you an option give like a performance mode i think that's something that they should do on the series s if they do put modern warfare on that system is to give a performance mode so if you want uh to have a higher frame rate you can do 1080 120 uh, but then you could also just not do anything and just play 1440p 60. Like, I want us to have choices. I want us to have options. And Cold War is definitely putting console gamers in the right direction with having more choice with the FOV slider. So that's another thing. FOV slider on console, finally, for Modern Warfare. That would be a great thing for Modern Warfare players because we did not have that on the PS4 and Xbox One. And I'll tell you guys, an FOV slider for Modern Warfare is another amazing feature on PC that you guys are really missing out on. And I have a good feeling that's going to happen because first of all, money. <laughs> Activision's gonna make more money if they release it on more platforms, of course. The other thing is they have big plans for Warzone in the future, like they're not ending support for Warzone. They might be ending support for multiplayer, but Warzone is still going strong. So you would think, you know, they'd have much more technology at their disposal, m much more stuff they could do with the new hardware like, I don't know, put more players into the game, expand the map, or, you know, whatever else they could do, add new weapons, and it would be a lot easier for them to do that with newer technology. So, I'm thinking it's going to happen. I'm thinking we're going to get a Modern Warfare remaster. And I'm, when I say Modern Warfare remaster, I don't mean Call of Duty 4 remaster. We already had that. I mean Modern Warfare 2019 remastered. I have a good feeling it's going to happen. But if they only remaster Warzone and don't remaster the multiplayer, single player, spec ops, that'd be really lame. Kind of like Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered. That shit was lame because they didn't include the multiplayer, which was the only thing that mattered in that fucking game. I mean, the campaign was good, but the multiplayer was like 90% of the game for me. So, yeah, I hope they don't do that where like Warzone is the only thing they remaster. Uh, with Modern Warfare 2019 because the multiplayer, <laughs> there are a lot of problems with it, but there are a lot of people that enjoy playing it, you know? Same thing with the campaign. People who didn't get to play the single player campaign, yeah, you have backwards compatibility, but it's not the same. It's not the same as having that true next-gen feel. And yeah, Modern Warfare definitely was very impressive uh, running on those old platforms like the PS4 and Xbox One. It still did pretty good. And it was very graphically impressive for running on old technology. But still, it was old technology. It would be cool if we get the new shit. I mean, I have it already on PC. But for those of you who, you know, you're going to get a PS5 and an Xbox Series X, whichever one of those consoles, uh, you're not really a PC gamer. You want to get the new console. Uh, but you also, you, know, you want Modern Warfare to be a lot better in terms of performance, in terms of graphics and everything. I think there's a lot of potential to have a remastered version of Modern Warfare on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X as well as the Series S. 
And I have a feeling it's going to happen, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you want a Modern Warfare remaster, and if you think it's ever going to come out. I think it will, and I think if it does get a remaster, it'll probably get released around April, May, or, you know, around that time, in between the release of Cold War and Modern Warfare 2. I think that'd be a good timetable for them to do a remaster. It, that would just make the most sense. But anyway, that's all I got for today. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.